Hi everyone, welcome to the Apple Bay Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on General Organic Chemistry, GOC Chemistry Series, lecture number 12. Today we are going to deal with uh, like uh, aromaticity continuation lecture that is nothing but uh, proton and number in aromatic compounds. Proton and number in aromatic compounds. In aromatic. So this is the major important topic regarding to the CSIR and gate aspirants on IIT John aspirants. Okay. Now let's move on to the proton NMR. So here it is the NMR that is nothing but a nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy which is measures the like a, which predicts the uh, like a proton nucleus. Okay. Now here it is the graph of proton NMR. So this is the zero that is nothing but a reference compound TMS. Okay. Now uh, right side it is the minus one, minus two, minus three like and so on. So here one, two, three, this is the like values. Okay, so these values are simply which is denoted by the delta that is called chemical shift. Okay, so the units of these values simply it is nothing but parts per million, parts per million, simply it is nothing but a ppm. Okay, now here this is the T TMS, this is the TMS. Okay, now here moving to the like away from the TMS, it is nothing but a it de shielding region. This is the de shielding region that is simply it is called as a down field. Okay. Towards the TMS, that is nothing but a upfield region, like a shielding protons. Those are called shielding. Okay. Towards the TMS, upfield shift or like a shielding region away from the TMS, that is the downfield or de shielding region. Downfield or de shielding. De shielding means here is the electron cloud will appear like this, like a uh, away from the pro, away from the TMS, the electronic cloud is reduced electronic cloud is uh, reduced okay that means uh, if smaller electronic cloud is there the uh, like uh, those proton will appear uh, in downfield shift so the more electronic cloud is there that is the shielding region so those protons will appear uh, in like a tms towards the tms region okay now here this is the spectrum so will appear uh, like this much of a signals okay now here it is the zero tms value so here it is the like some signal okay so now the distance between the tms the reference compound and our our sample peaks the distance between the reference compound and the sample peak uh, is it is called as a chemical shift it is called as chemical shift okay simply it is denoted by the delta this is denoted by the delta units are parts per million okay so now according to the chemical shift value we don't know the chemical shift value so the alkane so here it predicts only carbon carbon attached proton c single bond c c double bond c c triple bond c h proton so generally 0 to 2 this is the alkane chemical shift value okay so if alkane attached proton chemical shift value is 0 to 2 so then uh, automatically alkene value is 2 to 4 alkyne value is 4 to 6 this is our assumption but originally it is not observed okay so now alkenes will appear as a 4 to 6.5 but all kinds will give us the like a 2 to 3.5 much of range. So this is the chemical shift value. A normal chemical shift is observed. Okay. Now again, all, this is the aromatic compounds. So aromatic compounds is also part of a, like a like a, it seems it seems to be alkene that is the sp2 attached proton. So that's why. So here it may be the region of 4 to 6.5. That is our assumption. But uh, it it abnormally increases from 6 to 8.5. It abnormally increases from 6 to 8.5. That is the chemical shift range of uh, aromatic compound. So these abnormal increment and decrement of uh, their chemical shift values in different different systems was explained by the anisotropy effect. Anisotropy effect. Okay. Now let us discuss the those anisotropic effect. So this is the like a benzene. Okay, double bond, double bond, double bond. So that means that uh, here these double bonds are nothing but uh, like pi electronic p orbitals. So here delocalizes their pi electrons. So this is the like circulation of uh, pi electrons. So circulation of pi electrons. So those uh, circulation of uh, pi electrons will produce as the a second kind of a magnetic field. Will produce as the a second kind of a magnetic field. So this is the like a second kind of a magnetic field. Okay, now the direction of magnetic field is like this. Direction of magnetic field is like this. So 
So this is the direction of magnetic field. So here these second kind, this, this is the like a second kind of a magnetic field. So those are second kind of a magnetic field simply it is called as a, like an induced magnetic field. Induced magnetic field simply it is a, represented as HI. Simply it is represented as HI. This is the sample system. Okay. So whenever a sample which is introduced into the our NMR spectroscopy that is NMR instrument. So the, that NMR instrument which gives the like a external magnetic field in the in form of pulse in the form of a pulse. Now here it is the external magnetic field. External magnetic field. Okay. In somewhere so the external magnetic field is upward direction. Like uh, here somewhere, the, some of the compound, some of the region which is the opposite to the external magnetic field and another region which is parallel to the external magnetic field. Okay. Now here it is the, this region. So in this region, so the external magnetic field and uh, in a second kind of uh, induced magnetic field, that is nothing but induced magnetic field. So those both directions are opposite to each other. Those both directions are opposite to each other. According to the Lenz law, this is the physics rule. According to the lens law, both opposite spinning particles are cancelled to each other. Opposite spinning particles are cancelled to each other. So, due to the like a uh, cancellation of these external and uh, uh, like a uh, external and internal, that is nothing but induced magnetic field cancellation takes place. So, due to the cancellation of these external and uh, internal magnetic field, so here, if proton somewhere, let us assume if proton present in this region. So those are more shielded protons. More shielded means here it is the like a more electronic cloud protons. Okay. So that's why it is called as like a shielding region. Shielding region. Okay. Now here both electrons, one is opposite to each other. That means uh, it is a dia region. Simply it is nothing but a dia region. Shielding region means uh, there is no effect. Why? Because here both are cancelled to each other due to the cancellation. Electronic cloud is uh, not uh, not reduced. Electronic cloud is not reduced. Now let us assume that he is somewhere over here. This this region. So except uh, like diamagnetic region. So the external magnetic field and uh, like induced magnetic field. They both are parallel to each other. They both are parallel to each other. So due to the like a same ar same alignment of these spinning particles which enhances their spinning due to the enhancement of their spinning so here it reduces the electronic cloud it reduces the electronic cloud that means here the electronic cloud of the uh, like uh, those nucleus will very smaller those nucleus very smaller so that means uh, it moves away from the TMS that is nothing but a D shielding region so electronic cloud is reduced so this region is uh, nothing but D shielding region D shielding region so those D shielding region which is a uh, simply it is nothing but a down field so here it is the paramagnetic region why well, because both are the same side that is uh, like it seems to be unpaid electrons that's why it appears uh, like a paramagnetic region this is the a paramagnetic region okay due to this effect simply it is this phenomenon is called as an isotropic effect the, due to this effect uh, so the abnormal chemical shift is observed okay now let us discuss the some of the examples, some of the exceptional examples in like our aromaticity, proton NMR in aromaticity. Now let's move on. Okay. Now, so before going to the some of exceptional examples, now here the increment of alkene proton NMR values and the decrement of uh, like a uh, alkane values. So here it is the like a uh, alkene arrangement. This is the like uh, alkene. So the external magnetic field like this. This is the like external induced magnetic field. So our protons present in the like a para region. That is the that is nothing but D shielding region. So D shielding means uh, here it is the more more and more the, due to the like uh, same alignment of both these pins uh, here it enhances their chemical shift value. So that's why here four to six point five is observed. That is the alkene protons. Now in case of alkene protons, uh, so C C H. So this is the alkene proton. So now here it is the circulation of uh, their five electrons will appear like this. But protons present in the dia region. That is the shielding region. That is the due to the shielding due to the, the shielding effect so here the electronic cloud is retained so the electronic cloud is retained then chemical shift value is towards the SM, uh, towards the TMS towards the TMS that is the like a positive low positive or negative values is absorbed okay that's why it is low positive 2 to 3.5 is absorbed so this, this is the reason okay now let us discuss the some of the exceptional exceptions in aromatic compounds their proton values they proton NMR values. Now let, let's move on to the first example that is the like anulins. Okay. 
Stop here, double bond, double bond, double bond, like a double bond, double bond, double bond, double bond, double bond. Okay, so this is the nine double bond, that means 18 electrons. So this is the 18 annually. The system is 18 annually. Okay, now here in case of 18 annually, so here six protons present in the inside, 12 protons present in the outside, 12 protons present at outside. Five protons present at outside. Six protons inside. Twelve protons outside. So this is the like a uh, structure of uh, eighteen annually. Okay. Now here, this pi electronic cloud will produces the like a uh, inside ring. Inside ring current. So this is called simply ring current. Okay. Now. So in case of uh, like our aromatic compounds, this is the like a benzene structure. Okay, now here, in which is simply it is represented in the like a clone. So this is the region. Okay, now in this region, protons present in, in this region. So those are simply this in this region. So those are D shielding protons. That means it is para para region D shielding protons. Now, so the simply it is uh, represented as minus. Okay, now. Outside the cone, outside the cone, if any proton is present, those are the like a dia protons, dia magnetic region that is called a shielding region. That is called shielding. Okay. Now, if ring current is present, so this ring current will leads to the like a outside external outside formation of the second kind of magnetic field that is nothing but induced magnetic field so that the time inside protons present in the like a diamagnetic region inside protons present in the diamagnetic that's why due to the presence of diamagnetic region those protons are shielded so those shielded protons will appear at the like minus 2.99 ppm minus 2.99 ppm approximately it is equal to the minus 3 ppm so those are six protons due to the presence of those six protons in the shielding region it will appear as minus 3 ppm minus 3 ppm the remaining out outside protons will appear as a 12 pp uh, like a 12 protons will appear at 9 ppm 12 protons that appears 9 ppm okay so the, here it is the 12 protons 12 protons the 12 protons intensity is more Okay, we will discuss those things in our uh, NMR spectroscopy series. Okay, so that's why 18 annually will appear as uh, this type of spectrum. So here it is the zero, this type of uh, spectrum in a low temperature under normal temperature. Low temperature and normal temperature. At a higher temperature, it cannot appear so like this. It appears a, a single peak at higher temperature. Why? Because so as a CC single bond that higher at higher temperature so the CC single bond it is not the double bond so here it is the CC single bond so the CC single bond is rotated at the time inside proton becomes outside outside proton becomes inside the CC single bond rotation will give the like a rapid exchange between the inside and outside protons so the rapid exchange of inside and outside protons due to the rapid exchange of inside and outside protons our NMR instrument cannot capture those rapid exchange that's why our NMR instrument cannot capture those inside protons and outside protons separately. Okay, so due to that reason, all the protons will appear as a single peak at higher temperature. At a higher temperature, this is the like 18 aniline proton NMR history. Now let's move on to this one of the examples, some other examples. Let us discuss the another example that is the pyrene structure. That is the like a pyrene structure. So this is the like a bent pyrene. So let us assume. So here it is the like a two methyl groups is there. Okay, the remaining are pi bonds. So this is the like a system of a pyrene that is, that having the seven double bonds. That means fourteen electron system. So 14 electrons will follow the 4n plus 2 pi electronic system. So that's why system is aromatic. System is aromatic. Okay, now here, this aromatic system will produce this much of ring current. So this is the ring current. So if a proton is present in, inside the ring, 
that is the diamagnetic region so those diamagnetic region will gives the like a shielding re shielding region protons okay so due to the inside like uh, due to the presence of those methyl groups at inside so those methyl two methyl groups will appear at minus 4.52 ppm minus 4.52 ppm that is the enamor spectrum of uh, like aromatic compound so okay now here it appears those uh, like uh, minus 4.52 ppm of six protons, six protons that is two methyl groups. Now the remaining will appear somewhere here, approximately like at aromatic region, like a, a outside the aromatic region. So this is the like a 14 protons. This is the like a 14 protons. So this is the NMR spectrum of a pyrene. Whenever this system will be treated with metal like potassium, lithium, or sodium, now here it creates the a dianion. It creates the a dianion. So now here it is the methyl group. It is the methyl group. So these dianion will appear like this. That means a 14 electron system will become a 16 electron. So metal is introduced, 14 electron system becomes a, a, like, a, a, like a 16 electron. That means here the bonded two electrons will shift like this. Here it creates the negative charge. Here it creates the positive. Those negative will abstract the, like a, sorry, uh, uh, like a, th those are negative. What, that is the first negative. Again, here the positive charged, uh, positive, positively charged species. So the positive will gain the electron from the metal and it creates the another negative. Okay. So the negative charge uh, separation is more. That's why that is more more aromatic. That's why those negative charges will present some uh, like different rings. That is the major region. Okay. Now the, that's why here it is the 16 electrons. Due to the 16 electrons, it obeys the like a 4 and pi electronic system. It it is anti aromatic. Anti-aromatic means it is a very unstable molecule. So due to the like a changing of aromaticity to anti-aromaticity will appear like this. Okay, so approximately minus four. So it appears uh, these 14 protons and uh, yeah, 20 ppm, exactly it is a 20 ppm. So it appears those six protons. Okay, now in case of anti-aromatic compounds, uh, so inside protons, having the higher value and in case of not, not like a sorry in case of an anti-aromatic anti-aromatic compounds uh, inside protons will gives the higher chemical shift value but aromatic compounds inside proton will gives the lower chemical shift value so those aromatic low chemical shift value aromatic inside low chemical shift inside low chemical shift that is called a diatropy anti-aromatic compounds like inside will show the higher chemical shift so that is paratropy so this is the reason okay i think it is very clear so aromatic compounds will show the diatropy that means inside low chemical shift value anti-aromatic compounds will show the like a higher chemical shift value at the inside protons that is nothing but a paratropy effect this is the like a dia anisotropy para anisotropy now let's move on to the some other examples Now the final example that is a homoaromatic compound. The final example is homoaromatic compound. So here it is the like a system cyclooctatetrene. So that cyclooctatetrene which is treated with concentrated H2SO4. So now here it is minus and it is positive. So this is the negative. Okay, those negative will abstract the proton. Now here it creates the like a positive cation with the sp3 carbon atom. Okay, now here already one proton is there. Th these minus will abstract the proton. Now it creates the like sp3 carbon atom. sp3 carbon atom. Now let us draw draw the like a structure of those compound. Okay, this is the structure. Okay, double bond, double bond, double bond. Here it is the positive charge. Okay, so here it is the like a two uh, like sp3 attached protons. Now here proton, proton. So carbocation and proton. The, here the four protons are there. We don't know the like range of those four protons. Now let us draw the like a diagram. This is the zero. Okay. Now let us assume. So here four protons are labeled as H, A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. So these are the four protons. We don't know the like the chemical shift value. This is the one of the CSA question. So among the four, which is a higher chemical shift value or arrange the like a chemical shift value in, in the series like that. Oh, that, that. That type of questions are suspected in the like CSA and gate, as, gate, uh, gate question papers. Okay. Now let's, let's analyze the those uh, chemical shift range. 
Okay, now here it is the HC and the HD. HA, HB. So HA, HB is present at the far away from the ring current. Far away from the ring current. So away from the ring current, that means uh, those are the very shielded, that is very protective. So that's why shielded region. So HA, HB present in the like right side towards the TMS. We don't know whether HA is greater or HB greater. Let's, uh, uh, let us discuss it after some time. Okay, now here HC and HD. So generally, carbocations are lesser size, those having the more downfilling shift. But here, so the system, like uh, the system will appear like a tropelian cation, HD present in the, like a uh, more para region, that is the de-shielding region, HD will appear uh, very para region, that means HD appears will downfield shift. So here somewhere HD appears like this, somewhere. Okay, so that is the very downfield, very downfield region. So here HC, this is the like a ring current. Now here it is the like a paramagnetic current will appear this much of a like a ring current. Okay, so this is the like this much of ring current. So here it is the HD present in the para region, but uh, HC very far away from the like anisotropy of it. Okay, so if uh, molecules uh, uh, far away, molecules distance is far away from the anisotropic effect, that is the ring current, uh, so those chemical shift value is decreased. So that's why HC value is lesser than the like HD. So HD is greater than that of the HC chemical shift value. Now let us let us assume these HA and HB values. So HA and HB. So HA is present in the like inside. That means almost all it present in the like a diamagnetic region. Diamagnetic means it is a very shielded, okay? So very shielded means uh, it is very closer to the TMS, very closer to the TMS. If it may be like uh, negative values or it may be positive values, very closer to the TMS. Now here HB is uh, like uh, somewhat far away from the diamagnetic region. That's why it appears uh, like somewhat uh, like uh, left side in the uh, like a spectrum. So this is the range. So that's why HD proton is a higher chemical shift value greater than that of the HC, greater than that of the HB, greater than that of the HE. So this is the prediction of uh, proton and MR values in aromatic compounds. Okay. Now somewhere like an aphthalene is there. Like here it is the alpha proton, this is the beta proton, alpha and beta. So sometimes, so among these two, which is uh, like more chemical shift value, we don't know. Okay. So these uh, these protons will appear so like, a, uh, like will, will present like this. So this is the like arrangement. Okay. This is the arrangement. So at the time, so this is the alpha, this is the beta. Okay, this is the alpha, this is the beta, sorry. Now here, so alpha protons will present in the like a uh, para region. Beta protons are uh, so, somewhat, uh, this is the exact para region. This is somewhat uh, like uh, closer to the para region. So that's why alpha is greater than that of the beta. Alpha is greater than that of the beta. Now in case of um, like uh, anthracene molecules, now here also H alpha, H beta, H gamma. H alpha, H beta, H gamma. So these are the molecules. So like similar, it is appear, it is oriented like this. So that's why alpha is very like a exact para. So that's why it is more chemical shift value than compared to the beta. So beta and gamma. Okay. So gamma is very lesser value. So here also alpha greater than that of the beta, beta greater than that of the gamma. So this is the like a range of chemical shift value. The range of a chemical shift value. Chemical shift values. Okay, so this is the very interesting video regarding to the like proton and MR in aromatic compounds. That's all for this video. I think it is very helpful for you guys. If you like the video, please share and subscribe the channel. Share to your younger siblings. Thank you so much for watching.